So, during these cathartic experiences remind yourselves frequently that you are each a perfect divine child of God. August 14, 2016, by John Smallman. So, reality is your divine destiny because there is nothing else. What you experience as humans alive on earth is very convincing but nevertheless, is quite unreal. Much of your pain and suffering is because separation from source is not what you desire, it is out of alignment with your true nature which is always in relationship with God and self in perfect harmony, intertwined, integrated, and at one. To be disconnected, were it possible which it is not, would be to cease to exist, and that thought is terrifying. Consequently you are always seeking connection and integration with what cannot be joined, namely form. You can get close but you cannot join because form by its very nature is divisive. What you most desperately desire is unavailable in form, but you continue to seek it there because there seems to be no other option, since you chose to experience separation as realistically as possible by constructing an illusion in which you immersed yourself, and in which your knowledge of reality was almost completely lost and forgotten. Reality cannot be truly forgotten because it is all that exists. It is a little like the air you breathe, you are largely unaware of it because your autonomic nervous system breathes for you, and you only notice the air when it is missing, for instance if you hold your breath or is toxic and unbreathable. Without it you die. Without reality you would cease to exist. However you do have a faint but insistent sense that you are missing something important, what you do not know and so you either distract yourselves with activities to avoid looking at the issue or you spend time pondering what it might be, in fact what the meaning of life might be, if indeed it has one. And of course the something important that you seek is reality, which remains hidden from you by your own choice. Now the awareness of that something important, that sense that something important has been forgotten is demanding the attention of everyone presently incarnate on earth because the moment of your awakening is rapidly approaching, and all the personal issues that have been buried or denied need to be addressed and released. These issues, and everyone has some, are always issues concerning unfairness, abuse, mistreatment, betrayal, conflict, and your judgment of them. They are experiences that have hurt you and that you have refused or been unable to address and release because they were so painful. They remain embedded, seemingly out of sight out of mind but you use enormous quantities of energy keeping them repressed. As they surface into your conscious awareness you again feel the intense pain that they caused when you originally experienced them, and your emotional reactive response is to hurriedly rebury them. But burying them gives them energy draining power over you. You need to allow them to arise and be recognized without engaging with them, that is see them and acknowledge them, but instead of judging them, offer them compassion, acceptance, and forgiveness then give them permission to dissolve. That is the release that needs to occur, bringing you peace as the emotional loads that you have been carrying for so long just fall away, and love fills your hearts. As you well know, love is your nature, so by blocking it or refusing to accept it you make yourselves ill, psychologically and or physically. Illness indicates that deep-seated and painful personal issues are being repressed and denied instead of addressed and released. Psychotherapy can be very helpful if you can locate a competent and compassionate therapist. However, your guides, angels, and loved ones in the spiritual realms are all constantly available to flood you with love, if you will just call on them, and then relax into your quiet inner space which love has never left. The stuff that is coming up for so many of you is to enable healing to occur, so it is important to just allow it to arise and flow through you like passing weather. Some of you are so shocked and disoriented when stuff like this arises that you wonder if you are going insane because you have done such a good job of repressing it, and had no idea it was dwelling within you. Refusing to acknowledge it causes it to stagnate and ferment which can lead to a violent eruption with painful psychological and physical manifestations. It can be helpful to really take time out, even a week or two, when stuff that you were unaware that you were harboring starts to arise so that you can spend time alone and uninterrupted to let it all flow, because you may find yourself sobbing your hearts out and even screaming in rage. To let your feelings and emotions flow as powerfully as that is probably not something you would wish to do if you were not alone. Allowing this stuff out, allowing your feelings and emotions to flow unimpeded, 
as you just observe them without engagement or judgment is part of the healing process, that dissolves the blocks and resistances within you that have been hiding love from you. It is always there awaiting your acceptance of it. It is who you are and it loves you unconditionally. Unconditional love is unacceptable to many because they feel unworthy, ashamed, not good enough. But when you allow the release of all those pent-up emotions and feelings all those invalid self-judgments will be released as well. If you are carrying a large load of emotional baggage you may not be able to release it all in one go. You may think it has all been released because it was such a mind-blowing experience, and because you feel freer than you have ever felt before. So if more stuff arises later just deal with it in the same manner and enjoy the further sense of freedom that follows. During these cathartic experiences remind yourselves frequently that you are each a perfect divine child of God, infinitely and eternally loved by your Heavenly Father, and that nothing that you have ever done, thought or said can in any way change your relationship with Him. He is love, and so are you, all else is illusion. With so very much love, Saul.